Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to configure Niagara device to do load balancing. The load balancing is mainly used to split the traffic received from input to multiple outputs. For this demonstration I will be using this um, topology. Particularly I am going to use the port Niagara port 0 slash 5 as input and Niagara port 3 1, 5 1 and 7 1 as output. So, whatever traffic that comes in on this port, it should be equally load balanced to 3 ports. Let us say if we receive 1 gig of traffic, we, we should split the traffic 33, 33, 333 meg on each of the port. The first step is to create the port groups. Port groups, we need to specify the ports that we want to balance the traffic. So, in our case, we want to use 31, 51, and then 71 as the port group ports. So, once the port group is created, we need to go to the configuration map and then specify the input. So, here instead of the instead of specifying normal port as output, we need to specify this group that we just created as output and then we will say pass all. So, all the traffic received on 0 5 should be load balanced to uh, the ports in the port in the port group. This is load balancing. Done. Save. The configuration is completed and I will go and push some traffic. So, again I use TCP replay and I am pushing about 1 GB of traffic to the Niagara device. Uh, you can see that uh, on the traffic rate statistics, the Niagara device is receiving about 1 GBBS on the left and the same traffic is getting balanced to 3, three, uh, three ports, 3 1, 5 1 and 7 1. And you can see that the, the distribution is very, very even here about 333 meg on each of the port. So, if we go and stop the traffic, go back and check the status, it is it's all 0. So, there is no traffic. This is how the load balancing can be configured and verified. Thank you.